Alrighty, hello again. So I just came across an article that I wanted to go ahead and uh, and talk about. So the headline is, Trans woman declares she's no longer ashamed to expose penis in women's locker room. So there's this uh, pre-op trans woman in New York who... Um, she would go to the gym and then use the locker room and she um, didn't feel like she could take a shower in there or she would just put on a towel and go to a little corner and change real quick so people wouldn't see her. And so she says, and so she finally decided that she was just going to go ahead and just finally just decide to go naked like every other woman in the locker room. Let's see. Yeah, it says, I've sp I spend a lot of time in the gym. I'm there every day, she wrote. But I have always either gone back to my apartment to shower, wrapped myself in a towel, and changed quickly in the corner. She emphasizes she's very comfortable with her body. While countless girls walk around the locker room naked, I felt like I couldn't even though I wanted to. And that for no other reason than because I have a penis. Um, that's a perfectly good reason. There are plenty of women who do not want to be exposed to penis in the locker room. I'm one of them. And, you know, yes, it might suck for you to not be able to just go around naked like all the other women. But guess what? That's just too fucking bad. One of the things that we absolutely need to understand as trans women is that we're basically immigrants. We're immigrants into womanhood. We're not from here. And so we really ought to show a certain level of respect for the people who are already there. You know, and yes, it sucks when you've got a penis and you're not able to, you know, get naked same as any other woman, but too bad. If you want to be able to get naked like any other woman, get sex reassignment surgery. That's really all there is to it. Um, I have a membership at uh, Planet Fitness. And um, so what I do, I... Because I've had sex reassignment surgery, I have no problems taking off my clothes. Interestingly enough, though, I don't actually see naked people around walking around in the gym. The gym has changing stalls, and so I'm guessing people tend to use them. But what I do is, like, just so I don't have to <clears throat> um, grab my stuff and go to, the, go to the changing stall and then back to the locker and all that... I'll just, you know, like when I go to uh, change into my workout clothes, I just do it right at the locker. And then when I go to take a shower, I take my clothes off right at the locker, put a towel on, go take my shower, you know, come back to the locker, you know, dry off, change my, put my, change my clothes, all that. And I can do all of that because I'm post-op. What, if I had a penis, there's no fucking way I would do that. I might still use the women's locker room, but you can bet your skippy I would be using the changing stalls. Let's see here. Hey. Uh, where are we? And so, yeah, she posted this on Reddit and got like a whole bunch of backlash from people and they ended up, um, you know, getting, they ended up censoring people's posts like hell and even ended up locking the thread. And it's fucking ridiculous. You know, I mean, I'm a big fan of free speech. And so, no, you shouldn't be um, censoring people like that just for expressing a fucking opinion. And if you're going to be posting about... Hey, I went naked in the locker room. Well, what the fuck do you think people is going to happen? What really bothers me is like the the people who were like defending her. 
like somebody was like, let me see here. There's there was a comment. Let me see. Uh oh. What Always Autumn did was her right as a woman hailed another user. It's just her body. Deal with it. Um, yeah, okay. Yes, it's just her body, you know, quote unquote. But guess what? Some of us don't want to see a stranger's penis in the locker room. I don't. Sorry, that's, that's just how it is. Now, I would have less of an issue with all of this if a particular gym, like, explicitly stated, hey, what the fuck? Uh, why is my browser acting up? Anyway, I would have less of a problem with this um, if the gym, like, stated right off the bat that the locker rooms were trans-inclusive and all of that. Because if they make that clear, like, right from the get-go, then folks who don't like it can just pick another gym, you know, or whatever. Or at least, if it does come up, at least you're prepared for it. At least you know that that's a possibility. But when you're just dealing with a regular women's locker room where people do not expect to see penis, and then all of a sudden you're just like, oh, I'm just going to take my clothes off, no big deal, um, yeah. Of course people are going to have a problem with it. And rightfully so, I would have a problem with it. Uh, let's see. Oh, and the issue of like, the issue that she shouldn't be doing it because some people have been raped and it might upset them. Right up here, you know, it says, Many women have been, have been raped by people who, who had beards or were very muscular. Challenged one... One Redditor, oh, come on, what the fuck? Why is my browser being stupid? Anyway, oh, let's see. <clears throat> Does that mean cis women who have who have beards because of PCOS? Or cis women uh, who use female change... Uh, or very muscular cis women <clears throat> who use female changing rooms without hiding their bodies or becoming inconsiderate to, uh, are being inconsiderate to. Yeah. Okay. There's a difference between being muscular or having a beard due to like, you know, hirsutism or, or PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, that's different from a straight up penis. And guess what? There's a thing that these women have that we as trans women, do not have. They were born female. So they have all of the rights. They have every right to be naked in that locker room, regardless of whether they're muscular or have a beard or whatever the fuck. You know, the only exception I would say to that rule is like if they're medically transitioning. You know, in that case, stay the fuck out of the locker room because you're a dude now. And really, like, I just, I really, the, the sense of entitlement of this person to just feel like it was okay to expose herself to other women. Like, no, that's not cool. That's, and the sad thing is, is that when I express views like this, like that we should show some respect for cis women in their spaces, I'm like, you know, accused of like being a turf supporter and you know, whatever, and cozying up to turfs and wanting to get head pats from turfs. Yeah, no, uh, I just think we should show respect for other women. Fuck. You know, and <clears throat> it's... N yeah, it's just... I mean, it's fucking ridiculous that this is even... That this sort of thing, like, that it's even a fucking issue. Like, really, we should just show a little fucking respect for the women who, whose spaces that we're, uh, we're using. <sighs> 
And it's just, I mean, it's really sad to see so many people defending her. Like, like it's no big deal to fucking show off your fucking penis. And I was getting into an argument the other day on Twitter about penis in locker rooms. And somebody was like, making the case that trans women don't go around showing off their penis in the locker room. Well, kids, here's an example of somebody who did. Okay? Maybe most tra- maybe a lot of trans women wouldn't, but here's a case of somebody who did. So, there you go. And so the fact that this person felt it was okay to just take her clothes off like that, Um, that to me suggests that yes, locker rooms should absolutely be penis free spaces because if there's no penis in that space, this, then you don't have to worry about this. And okay, sure. It might suck for other trans women, but you know what? Too fucking bad. If you have a penis, stay the fuck out. That's all there is to it. You know, I was getting, I was kind of at the point where I was like more or less okay with um, pre ops as long as they use the changing stalls and yada yada woof woof. But now we've got this, the case of this woman in New York. And that is pretty much made me just kind of backpedal to where I was and just say the women's locker room should be a penis free space, period. And. Yeah, that sucks if you're pre-op, but oh well. Now, I will say this. If you're a pre-op and you pass well enough and you never show your penis to anyone, then of course it's not going to be an issue because nobody's going to notice. But I really do think those spaces should be penis-free. And yes, it sucks if you haven't had the surgery yet or you can't get it for whatever the reason, but such is life. So the the only alternative would be to make it explicitly clear that these spaces are trans-inclusive and that you might see penis. And then the folks who don't want to see penis, well, they can go somewhere else. And honestly, and I would hope that people would do that. Because if a, if a gym decided to institute a trans a trans inclusive policy that meant that penis could show up in the locker room. I would really hope that women would like cancel their memberships and cost the gym money and make it very clear that we're quitting this gym because we don't want penis. I would hope. So yeah, I'm kind of rambling a bit here, but, but yeah, the whole issue of the fear of like trans women exposing themselves to people in the locker room yeah that shit happens apparently if the article that i read is to be believed and apparent and i came across this because somebody posted it on twitter because apparently they were part of the uh they were part of the reddit thread that this was posted on so uh, you know so i can I can only assume since I haven't looked at the I haven't looked at the Reddit thread, I can only assume that this is something that actually happened that this you know that this person actually did what they said what they said they did. So yeah, it's just it's just fucking ridiculous. Like the amount of like disrespect and entitlement this person has. Well, I have the right to do the same as any other woman. No you fucking don't. No, you fucking do not. You do not have a right to expose your penis to to other women like that. Um, That's just not acceptable at all. And also, um, what about, like, what about, say, Muslim women? Now, I'm not here to defend Islam. It's a terrible religion. But... In Islam, women are not allowed to exp- to be to expose themselves to men. And so what's going to happen? So if a Muslim woman 
figures out that there's that there's penis in this law in this gym now what is this woman going to do is she now not going to be able to work out because because her religion forbids her from exposing herself to strange penis i mean what's going to happen there is she just going to be like uh uh-uh, uh i can't go to this locker room anymore and i can't go to this gym i mean that's kind of fucked up so, yeah, no, you, you absolutely do not have the right to expose your penis to other women. No, sorry, you don't have the right to expose yourself to other, expose your penis to other women without their consent. And I most definitely do not consent, and, you know, and I'm a trans woman, so you can't call me a transphobe here, now can you? Anyway, that's done for my ramble. So thank you for watching this video, and I would greatly appreciate it if you would support me on Patreon. And now that I'm off of Twitter, I hopefully will be making more videos. And if you uh, come across any like any trans-related articles or whatever that you want my opinion on as a uh, as a trans woman. Like, uh, please feel free to send them my way. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see about actually setting up my own discord and then I can just put a link to that in the, in the video description. So then people can just, you know, come onto my discord and send it that way. Um, the other thing too, is I do, I do have an email address. You can send me stuff to that is teletrans1 at gmail.com so yeah if you come across something and you'd like the opinions of a post-op trans woman who is not ridiculously far left then yeah then send it my way and i will see you all later